Right. I'm just loading the game up. Yeah. This is Devil May Cry 5, though. I do love me a Devil May Cry, though. Alright. Yeah, um, when I loaded this up yesterday, it loaded up weirdly. Sounds like original. So, yeah, I think they kept it somewhat, like, content with, like, the rest of them. Like, kept it all in line and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if this is going to make the game go weird. Hopefully not. Okay, no. I think the game takes a little bit of a while to load up because of the fact that, obviously, I've modded it. So... Yeah, hopefully it should be a couple of minutes and we will get in. But it was working yesterday. I tested it and it worked. So hopefully it will. Any minute now game come on I mean this is good to know because if it does take just generally a long time to load up I might as well have to load it up before I even try sh starting the stream just so it's up and running I think I can alt tab out of it when it's loaded so yeah but it took like a few minutes to get to the title screen but it was a complete black screen and I was like oh shit it's broken but when I control altered and deleted and went back in, it worked. So I assumed I just had to sort the screen out. So I'm waiting for it to black screen so that I can then do that bit to try and get into it. But yeah, fingers crossed. I don't want it not to work considering that effort of going through and doing each mod. It would be kind of annoying. Ah, ah, okay. Oh, I'm just waiting. Hmm. Aha! I'll stop the music in a minute because this music does not go with this game. And then I just need to get the audio playing for the main game. Should be that one. Right, okay. It says that the audio is playing and whatnot, so we're okay. Alright, let's start Dragon Age Origins then. But yeah, it just takes a while for it to actually load up. So I just need to make a note of that. Because I'm it probably... Normally the way that I do it is I get all of my stream stuff set up and on. And then I'll get the game up once I get into streaming. But yeah, I think I might have to do it the other way around. 
So there's a golden city blackened which, uh, with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection for his fleeing. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of free, free nudies. Free Return nudies, my us, lord. That it is the hubris of men which brought the dark spawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. No subtitles, apparently. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. The Darkspawn. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> they became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. It's a bit like Lord of the Rings, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing like a Dark Lord to summon all the races to come together. Four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Bam, bam, bam. The background you select will determine which six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Well, I already stated I'm gonna be a woman character, so that's fine. But do I want to be a human, an elf, or a dwarf? I don't want to be an elf. I like elves. And then class is either a warrior, a magi, or a rogue. The warrior is either a archer. Oh, a Dalish elf or a city elf? City elf. Kind of want to be a magician, though. Wielding the power is dangerous as is potent. You know that magic is a curse for those lacking who will the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who would ward against your kind. I like that. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. Skin. Skin complexion. Oh my lord. <laughs> Magic has taken its toll on her. <laughs> there you go. Skin tone. 
What is that green? A yellow? It was kind of yellowish, wasn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's stick with that one. Hair. Oh, blush color. I was like, she isn't changing. What the fuck? What's blush color? Oh, she's got like darker cheek, darker cheekbones or something. Blush intensity. Ah. Color. There's a purple. Hell yeah, purple, baby. No, oh my lord. Alright, what's after that? Lip intensity. Hell yeah. Purple lips. Eyeshadow color. Oh my god, I hate makeup. I might as well go purple, keep the color scheme. Hell yeah. Tattoo? Hmm. Not really that keen on face tattoos that much. <laughs> Can I get tattoo somewhere else? No, I'll just keep it without. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of like the, most of the face tattoos and games like this. Hair, okay. Alright. So it's bold. Is there a way of me? I guess it's doing that. Ah, yes. Alright. That's kind of cool. Oh, vibrant pool. Oh. Good day here. I love doing this in Sims. This is the only thing I like doing on Sims. Character creating. After that, couldn't care less about the game whatsoever. Hmm. Oh my god, there's so many hair colors. Right now. Green. Mm. Oh my lord, <laughs> bro! <laughs> Cyber dog green. <laughs> oh shit! I know. I like the light pinky. That red was nice. Yeah, but it makes me think of Trish from uh, from The Witcher. I kind of like this. This color's quite nice. Oh, no, eyebrows is weird. You like pastels? A little bit. A little bit. 
I like Vibrant too, but... And what we have here is the uh, the Charlie from Busted Eyebrows. <laughs> Big old bushy brows. Oh no, wait, that'd be that one. Mm, yes. Do that one. Oh, it doesn't look very good when it's the same eye eyebrow color, though. I just do normal. Looks like mine. <laughs> wow. Wow. Right, eye shape. Can't zoom in. Didn't say no. I can't remember what your eyebrows look like. Oh, actually, hmm. Wait. Ah! <laughs> so, so surprised. Just a normal day. Bam! <laughs> the hell panda, they're literally the feature of my face. Jess, do you remember the last... I, I don't remember the last time I saw you. Like, I, can't, I wasn't exactly paying attention to your eyebrows. Big eyes. See my face every day. I don't look at your picture every day, though. That's middle. Oh. No, keep that middle. Keep that middle. That's fine. Eye height. I'm, gonna I'm not going to fuck with that. Eye color. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, this definitely is modded. I like that. Isn't there a new... Oh, yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, you get to choose your... Uh... You end up choosing your, um, uh, you can choose genitals, yeah. It's not really my sort of game. No shape. Yeah, that knows. I just want to choose that. Mouth height, lip size. <laughs> I, won't, I won't fuck with those. my fun uh i don't really care about cheekbones ear height ear size well she is an elf let's give her big ears that way she can hear better Give her naughty ears. <laughs> All right, I'll do smaller ears, actually, because then it makes it actually look like they're off to the ends. Portrait.
<laughs> Look at the portrait. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. That's great. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that. I have lost concentration. How do you do? Hmm. Greetings. Greetings. How's that mystical? I cannot cast it. It is unharmed. Charmed. Ah, oh, there went the spell. Not working. Greetings. Ugh, my spell. Working. Need something else. How do you do? Right. Cat. This is not good. Scoot. Greetings. No. I should do something else. Greetings. I have lost my concentration. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I need some other attack. Greetings. I have lost the spell. Greetings. Charm. Ah, there went the... Oh, no. This does nothing. Move aside, please. Farewell. Yeah. I need to come up with a name? Ah. Uh, well, I mean, we always call our characters Pandoki. So. Pandoki Serena, apparently. Points to spend. So strength measures character's physical prowess and directly affects the damage a character deals in physical combat, which isn't really going to be needed for a mage. Dexterity is agility, reflexes, and balance. Higher dex character, uh, improves a character's chance to hit. Willpower is mental fortitude. With high willpower, mages can cast more spells. Magic. Uh, cunning like, lands and reasons most skills such as helpers and combat tactics require to mind constitution. Yeah, I'll do that. Points to spend. So I'll have herbalism, which means I can make potions, combat tactics. Okay. Um, survival. Character. All right, okay, well, let's start from the top. So coercion. Character is influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to more intimidating characters, whereas cunning contributes to more persuasive. Stealing characters quick enough to pill for small items from others, whether friendly or hostile, as long as they're not too alert. Trap making, no. Survival, a presence nearby creatures two levels below the character, no. Poison making, combat training. I don't really think I'm going to need any of those. Oh. Requires level 10. Oh, okay. Uh. Coercion then, I guess. Mage, two points to spend. So primal, oh my god. Entropy, weakness. Drains the target of energy, inflicting penalties, attack and defense. Vulnerability hex, disorient. Uh, spell shield, mana drain, walking bomb. Mind blast. That sounds pretty good, actually. Hill sounds pretty good as well. And now I've got Arcane Bolt. Uh, Alright, let's do Flame Blast. Um... And mine blast bucket, yeah. So that sounds kind of cool. Or do I have a walking bomb? Walking bomb sounds pretty good, actually. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, normal. We did it. 
we made a character. On the cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhard stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages. I'll turn subtitles on when I can play the game. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic. A Coca Lola, and yeah. The in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all. I had a cherry flavored one as well. Constantly alert for any sign. And of a slash puppy. This gilded cage is the only world you know. A lot of sugar this morning. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age. You were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly Very favorite any kind of junk to me. All that remains is the no final taste. test. <laughs> no taste, how they Magic No, I get it. I get it. I don't blame you. to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. That real cherry is just not fake flavored. But it's also a curse. It's fair enough. It's fair enough. Of the dream realm, the Fae, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fae, and there you. I like cherry scented candles. Armed with only your will. Oh shit, the options are down here. You guys can't see them. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna do I am ready. Know this, apprentice. If you fail, we you guys can't really see the uh, the text either, can you? Hmm. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic. And your gateway into the Fae. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. Welcome in, Grimsky. How are you doing? So shall and thank you for whoever follows. About you. <laughs> and remember, cherry flavored everything is a goat. Ah, uh, I mean, I only like cherry coke or cherry candles. Otherwise, I'm not a big fan of cherry. You are ready. But yeah. Welcome in, how you doing? I'll have a look at the settings in a minute. Uh, when we get into the game, let's see if I can change anything. I don't like the smell either. Alright. I've had a really good cherry pie candle in the past. Cherry gobstoppers. Man, I can't remember the last time I ever had a gobstopper while pause you can issue orders right click on desired destination issuing orders yeah Oh, actually, here's the point. Now that we can, can I change the size of the HUD or? Anyone who says an apple pie is better than a cherry pie, fists and all. <laughs> Do that one is that gonna make them worse? There's not really a way of increasing the HUD, is there? It's, I've just made it smaller. Hmm.
So it's, I guess I'll do it like that, and then everyone can see what's going on. But you still can't really see the options and stuff. Oh! Why did it... Why did it tell me to take my clothes off? I should cook apple in a pastry. I mean, isn't cherry pie also just cherry cooked in the pastry, though? I mean, I don't like either. Beamed. Oh, there you go. I, have some blood on you. I did it. <laughs> You're right, but wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like, I don't like fruit in general, so I'm not on anyone's side here. And so I shall. <laughs> How delightful! Okay. Oh, go punch it. I have some stuff. I have a helmet. Oh my lord, how do I... How do I have stuff already? Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. I've got all the DLC. That'd probably be it. Oh yeah, I've got the thing on, so I don't see helmets. Okay, the Americans are morons for putting pumpkin in the pie. Trying to find a common ground. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh damn, okay then. I think I leveled up. I did. Did I not? Oh yeah, 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 skill. Mm. <laughs> Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. That'd be the most egregious pie of all time. I said Sainsbury's pork pie. Oh, I mean, I haven't had a Sainsbury's pork pie. Uh, right, Templars. I'm talking to a rat. You're talking. You're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here in that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same, but it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me. Mouse. I have a rat meat and puff pastry. I don't mind some pork pies, but 
Yeah. I'm going to have to change my camera position for this game because neither of you can see the options. It's fuzzy. That time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. But you're alive. Body to reclaim. And you don't oh. have much time. Scott Jack and Pork Pie is the worst thing Commonwealth has ever done. <laughs> I love a good pork pie, but only if it's really crunchy. I I don't remember. If the pastry ain't crunchy, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't know how long. <laughs> So normally whenever I want a pork pie, which is very rare anyway, I'll like stand there squeezing all the pork pies. Um, sorry, what happened? Don't waste time with that talk. You don't want to end up like this. There's something here contained just for an apprentice like you. You have to face making me ill. <laughs> the demon and resist it. Well, if you can, we can't all like the same thing. Opponents. Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Uh, why pit me against such a creature? Question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough. See, I would say Maybe the so the worst pie so is that there one that other clowns spirits. have. Other spirits. They will tell you more. You know. Help. Their cream you pie. Mm -mm. Ways well, a perfectly good cream. Right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. Although I'm quite partial to a pecan pie. Spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Nothing wrong with cream pie. I mean, it's a waste though, because they just shove it in someone's face. <laughs> that is what he resisted. Ah, triple strike. That's how that was. What a mess. Blood is getting all over everything. Ethereum found, okay. P campaign's fine. Not that one. It's not that one, it's clown chowder. Mm. I don't know what the fuck clown chowder is. <laughs> oh, I wonder. Some blood I want to hit that. Let's go. I right, hit it. Damn. How delightful! Another spirit this way. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn. Danish, I think. Your mages have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> Better you were pitted against each other to prove your metal with skill than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Fight each other, we're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Can I have a weapon? I need your help. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My Favorite crisp is flavor? Sour cream and onion weapon, Pringles. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I agree to your duel. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. 
If you do not convince me, walk us out of vinegar. That's a psychopathic flip, crisp choice, that is. Our duel begins now. Fight with valor. Okay, he stunned me. I beat him. Strength is sufficient to the task. Anything like chili or ch sweet chili? Yours. I tell you what, I can't. Uh, of course, it is attack. Oh, thank you. Will it stay with me? I leave the fade. I suspect not. Oh. All right. Well, thank you anyway. Do you find glory in all your achievements, mortal? I got a staff. Oh yeah, baby. I got a staff. Saving game. Oh, okay. Don't mind that. Get wrecked. I got potions, all right. He just grows back. Okay, does my health as well? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Mm. Is this the thing? So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one? Is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually, and perhaps there will even be scraps left. Are you, uh, what kind of spirit are you? It's a demon, maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I need to help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take a druid? Form? Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. Mm. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? You could fight, help me fight the demon. It's true. I am quite powerful in this form when i wish to be i welcome the opportunity if it is my choice the mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others as you well know i'll try i'll try to be a bear if you'll teach me a big old nice. burr the teaching is so exhausting away with you now mm. I told you he wasn't. God damn it, bear, help me. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a oh, friend. 
re I hate riddles. And I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. I accept your challenge. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Desert, a boat, the moon, a map, an idea. Oh, a map! Mm. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Let's move on. The second uh -huh. riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Uh, so it says a handle, my tongue. Uh. Oh yeah, I guess it would be tongue, right? Yes, your witty tongue. Ha -ha! Yeah, Maybe enough. I am good with riddles. One more try, shall we? Often will I spin the tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But alas, you won't remember me. What am I? A riddle, a liar, a new music, a book, a spider, a dream. A, I don't think a dream, right? Mm. You are ha -ha! Brother, I prefer we here in fade, you know. But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. Yeah, I don't so, like riddles, but I these ones were too difficult. Form. No. Listen carefully. Like this. Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Am I a burr? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Close enough. Go then and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Oh, we now have a burr. Can I ride him? And there is a spirit of I want to ride the bear in the battle. Now nah, I guess we just gotta find the demon. Oh wait, did I set the bear on fire as well? This way before. It's strange. Um Why make us face a spirit or a demon for the harrowing? Because they're sadistic bastards, that's why. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about <laughs> demons. Everyone must face the harrowing because there's a small chance a mage might become possessed and become an abomination. Thrown to the mercy of a demon when you're at your weakest. For the safety of all. Okay. They teach that abominations are extremely dangerous. But how many mages have met their fate in tests like this over the centuries? Don't those lives matter as well? It's either that or they turn you into a freak. A tranquil who can't be possessed, but who also can't feel anything. Ever. The circle is a prison you have choices between joining and suffering various deaths of body or spirit remember that all right let's keep moving I'm ready on. if you are all right so what, where, what are we doing now then exactly I know you can become a bear now. Ah. Here we go. This way before. Yeah, I know. You already said this before! 
I'm ready if you are. And so it comes to me at last. This demon looks so weird. I so flashy. The land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Uh, it's two against one. You really want to fight us both? Amusing. Have you not told it of all arrangement, mouse? <gasps> oh no! Did we he lie to have us? An arrangement. Oh no, man. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. He's a bird. I won't have to hide. <laughs> I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Oh yeah, it makes sense that fire wouldn't work on a fucking fire demon. Did it. You did it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be oh, able I to. Oh, I came all right. <laughs> but I never really thought any of you were worthy. It's all a little too easy. That is because you are a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail. Like they tried with you. Woo! I w. my part mm. of it. Indeed. But you have shown me that there is Indeed. hope. You can be so much more than you know. Uh. What, so what is it you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help. There may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. I'm sorry, I think the other the other demon wasn't my test. What? What are you... Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's I job. knew it. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. How can I trust you when you smell? Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Ba -na -na -na. Say something, please. Where am I? Is this the fade? You're in the dormitory. Take a deep breath. You're safe. Oh. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrow's. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? All right, enough of the 20 questions. Fucking hell. Uh, we're friends, but don't ask this. You know, I can't tell you. Yes. <laughs> so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Maybe get good then. <laughs> yes! I've passed my test. That's all I care about. Oh, I see. You've been here longer than you have. <laughs> Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Probably not. Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, you're just paranoid. No, I'm afraid of what will happen to me. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. 
What does this have to do with you? <laughs> if they don't call apprentices to the harrowing, it probably means... I'm just going to be a cunt to people. Let's go. Like a Wayne who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. I think you're reading too much into it. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Uh, I should go talk to him immediately. You better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Ah, oh, do we have to? Leveling up every time. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We leveled up. We've got three points. Um, specializations. Not, yeah, I'm not. Okay, so I haven't got any of those. Uh, mm, oh, it's Three points. Yeah. One skill. Flaming weapons. That's pretty cool. But I mean, it would be kind of redundant when I'm not using that sort of weapon anyway. I could do lightning, though. Or healing. Mm, healing might be good. Yeah, I'll do healing. Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Cool. He's speedy, like wow. <laughs> Running around at the speed of sound. I just know I'll be terrified when my turn comes. Like Wendell was. He thought every day for the next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh right, save game. Oh. Right, right. I'm just going to alt tab out and move me over. And in that way, I shouldn't be blocking the options for you as well. When the X tells you who you can talk to, what's that? actually what is the point of the X? Right here. Lovely. As you desire. Time it still was. Take it. Yeah, there's no one here. Someone's always watching. Yes, if there's something you need. Uh, th that's a big door. Yes, it is. Do you need something, or are you just here to state the obvious? <laughs> <laughs> Can I leave? No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. What? Can Only I leave? mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower. And the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. Uh, Make a smile fortune on it. I like the sass there. You just not know, or are you just stating the obvious? <laughs> well, all right. Did you hear? Hear what? It's Why would mm. anyone do something so stupid? Uh oh hello I don't know what the correct place is to go so 
Yes. Found the basement, which is where we're not supposed to be. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Well, all right. You must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the. Look at him dancing. Ah, he stopped. Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will. No, no, no. Breathe. You know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Do you remember what right, um... says about magic? Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to concentrate on the machine. <laughs> if I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. I heard your harrowing went well. Aren't the children just precious? No. I'm going to be a powerful mage when I grow up. I heard the Templars talking about chasing down a Malefica yesterday. I like ponies. <laughs> well input. Well input. I hear Irvis waiting to give you your name. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I heard that Cullen's in love with you. Oh, don't spread that around too fucking much, will ya? I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. It's true, I am very talented. Jowan's been acting weird all day. Have you seen him? I heard Irving wants to see you. Of course. Ba -ba 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 Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Where's the stockroom for? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Do I have a staff? Are you really a tranquil mage? I voluntarily submitted to the rite of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. Hey, he was right. But if it were they did to you as brawl. Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. He remembers the day when his now mind was telling him no. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages, and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? person has emotions, you don't. People feel things to different degrees. One individual may be more empathetic than the next. Some are quick to anger, while others are not. Yet you would not single one out and accuse him of not being a person. My capacity to feel differs from yours, but you also differ from all other beings. You are no more a person than others. And I am no less a person than you are. Um, but emotions are essential. I propose we agree to disagree. Personhood is not measurable. 
Therefore, we should let this rest. Okay, well. Very well. Goodbye. Hey, the skaters. If you want something from the stock room, you must be too away. Your mentors must be happy. Oh, uh, hello. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? You might remember me as an apprentice. Oh, I'm a newly harried mage, but I've lived here all my oh, life. I'm sorry. There are so many of you, and I get confused. Not to mention, these old eyes are starting to go. Uh, everyone makes mistakes. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. Magic could? Not any magic I'd be caught doing. Anyway, did you need something? I just wanted to talk. I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! I will fuck you then. Fuck you too then. Hope your head throbs, you knobhead. I get it for being nice. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. Man, these people are pricks. I stand where I please. I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. You up? You're just an apprentice, not a mage. I will be soon. I have studied hard, and this opportunity will not pass me by. This is a chance for me to prove I can achieve as much as any human. I just want to shit many talk him so bad. Only fit to be servants. There's nothing wrong with being a servant. Don't you want more for yourself? Lost history. When elves were taken on as slaves, we lost most of our culture. Few of us even know our own language. And I hear the Dalish try to keep the old ways alive. It must be easier for them outside human rule. I wish I knew the old language. As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. I After an alien itch. Oh. I'm from a farm outside high. I will say though, he's not going to get much reading done when he's when he can't even see over the fucking book. Uh. I lived in Lothring. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. Does it make us luckier than other elves? I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. Don't but think they I should be fearing you, my friend. Thank you for talking with me. Good day. You look like Ron Weasley if he was an elf. John, I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torak. I can't remember who I was supposed to be talking to. Hello, were you looking for something? What were you talking about with the other mage? Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <laughs> a frat party? Uh, I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. Mm. Why don't you go off then? I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? I can't say the chat. All right. Have a good day. Is it you I'm supposed to talk to? Hello. Congratulations on your heroine last night. Good work. Uh, tell me about the fraternities. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe I in regret the clicking this button. The <laughs> then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. I don't the care Chantry about fraternity. Follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make. Why isn't there a skip the dialogue button? Like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then, of course, there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. Oh, thanks. That was interesting. Uh, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? 
apparently a lot. I'm a pretty good mage. I should be going. Yeah, enough. Good day to you. Yep, laters. Right. Where's this blow cub support? Well, oh, shit, I can't see what I'm doing. Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I had the wrong keys. I had my fingers in the wrong place. Whoops. As you desire. Oh, money. Oh, excuse me. I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry. I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. That's a great... Uh, yeah, I won't bother you then. Right. Where are they, though? Private documents? Hello. You didn't see me steal your private documents. I bet it was a love letter to someone. It's always a love letter. Always a love letter. There's a mark active button. Who would have known? Of course. Not me. so sleepy I think the the lack of sleep is catching up with me many have already gone to Ostagar Win, Aldred and most of the senior mages we've committed enough of our own to this war effort your own <laughs> just have lunch we'll be I mean no worries Chess enjoy your lunch kinship with the mages Gregor or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision where they can actually use their maker-given powers. How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Um. Hello. Ah, if it isn't our new sister in the circle. Come, child. This is? Yes, this is she. Well, uh... You're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Uh, is this why you had me? Oh, uh, pleased to meet you. Yeah, it would be nice. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Um... I would like to defend Ferelden. With the Darkspawn invading, we need all the help we can get, especially from the Circle. Uh, that's what you wanted to tell me? Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage. Within the circle of Magi. E. Thank you. Was it my philanthropy? You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. 
Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Nice, thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Oh, can I leave the tower? Not yet. Remember the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Sure, it would be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Back accomplishments. Oh. Oh. All right, let's take Duncan back to his room. Thank you for escorting me. That's okay. Is there something else I can do for you? Um, how many mages have joined the king's army? When the king sent out the call, the circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. That doesn't I asked sound like many. permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the circle. Seven is, oh, why does the king come himself? Well, how many mages could you possibly need? I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. I get what it means. Do you think I could join the army? I don't know. Do you? Yes, I think I could help. Then perhaps I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. It's actually quite interesting, but I should go. Do not let me keep you. Oh no, I'm, I'm going now. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Yes. Hello again. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Uh, why are you whispering? It looks very suspicious. Shh. I just want to make sure we're not over. <laughs> we should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. That don't even worry me. But you better not be wasting my time. It won't take long, I promise. I don't trust him whatsoever. We should be safe here. Uh, you realize there's a priest standing right here? I'm not a priest. I am merely an initiate. Okay. Uh, there's, there's something strange going on here. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. An initiate? That's forbidden. <gasps> this fat cow is your lover? Oh my lord. <laughs> She's right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lily. It's all right. I just wonder if this is true. Someone we can trust. She may be abrasive at times, but I trust her with my life. Oh yes. Uh. Oh, anyway, you kind of brought me here to chat out love. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember, I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing. I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. 
They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. But if you can't feel, then you can't feel sad about it. Mm. That sounds terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. Breathing and existing, but not truly living. Why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. And are they worried about that? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. What do I get out of helping you? The joy of helping a friend? The satisfaction of knowing you've prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Okay. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. Yeah. My factory could be has been taken to Denrim. I'm still trapped. You'll be out of here and gone before they can even dispatch a messenger to the city. You're talented and clever. You could take your phylactery back from your hunters if you wish. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. Don't try to flatter me. Thank yeah, you. go on then. We will never forget this. Tell me your plan and make it quick. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? Are you suggesting we break through it? Oh, what if it's a magical door? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. I will go to the stock room and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stock room will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. So I have to do all the dirty work. I'd go with you, but it would look suspicious. <laughs> Good luck. I will prayers go with you. Stuff your prayers. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? I did. I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. I agree. It was a privilege to have met him. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? Uh... When is Joe going for the harrowing? When he is ready. Okay. I'm sure you think so, but it's not your place to decide. Why do you ask? I'm ready to consent for a friend. Very well. I am here, should you wish to discuss anything. He's got a question mark above his head, though. Why? Returned. Does something require my attention? And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Gregor says he has proof and eyewitness testimony that Jowen has been practicing mm. blood magic. I cannot say more. 
Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry, I'm sorry, child. This right of tranquility will happen. Gregor must be making it up. He hates all mages. Let us not speak ill of my colleague. Our colleague. But he does seem like a bit of a prick. Of this. And I ask you to hold your tongue. You should know this is wrong. I have nothing more to say. Perhaps one day you will see it from my side. It's still saying there's a quest. Hmm. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? I need a rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, request for rod of fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. I will be back. Uh, why can't you give it to me now? It is procedure. I need a senior mage's authorization to release an item. Thank you. Can I not just come in here and steal one or? Yes? Um. Can you sign this form for me? Rod of fire? No, I'm not signing this. I don't know what you need it for, and I barely know you. Ask someone else. What? Have a nice day. Hmm. Returned. Does something require my attention? And how does he know that you think I didn't know? I did not become a Greg were it left. I already I'm know sorry, about child. this. I already know about this. This right of tranquility will happen. I'm sorry, but it must be done. It's not such a bad thing. What if I tell him about the other Does stuff? Something required. You think I didn't know? Oh, interesting. What more do you know? We're telling you I owe me a reward. Your loyalty to the circle is obvious. Tell me what you know. Your candor will not be forgotten. Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? So they told me and I promised to help? I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending right if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. What should we do now? Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the uh -oh. same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. Lily is trying to save the man she loves. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. Will you report Lily's betrothal, Gregor? If we mention her involvement, 
the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. Uh, you are right, the Chantry will do the same to us. If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil. But Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? They asked me to help them break into the repository. Perfect. Will you return to them and carry out their scheme with solid proof of their Oh, well, then can you sign act? my form? <laughs> uh, then I need you to sign this form. A rod of fire. Why do you... I understand. Try he gets to it. He's like, mm. this way. Big brain. Uh, center, center for, uh, what's interesting? The phylactery chamber door is warded and resists all magic worked upon it. Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? Can you give me your key? Even if I did, Gregor always keeps his on his person. Hmm. Not easy breaking into a locked chamber, is it? Still, ah, yes. The phylactery chamber shares a wall with the artifact vault. Age and dampness seeping up from the ground have weakened a segment of it. You can break down this part of the wall to gain entrance into the chamber. How would I do this? We have an old Tevinter device in the vault. It may have been used for defense, or possibly entertainment. It amplifies spells. Use the rod on this artifact, and aim it at the wall. Okay, I shall do this. One more thing. Do not be quick to suggest there is another way in. I don't want Lily and Jowen to suspect. Make okay. it seem like you came up with the idea yourself. Here is the form with my stamp. Owen will release the rod to you now. Let's go. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. Here is a sign for everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Let's go. All right. Let's go find those two. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I'm back. I have the rod of fire. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom of weights. Yeah. Where do I go now? Who says that she's got yes. Senior Enchanter, is there something you want? That leads to the Circle's cavern, but of course you know this. I can set the cavern? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Are you stealing from the circle stores? No, of course not. I just have. I, I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. How long is that supposed to take, then? Quite a while. Don't wait up. Mm, you're hiding stuff in now. I'm telling Ivan. Oh, wait, no, don't. I, I, look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior in well charge less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. Ah, you need a senior enchanter to authorize your request for that rod. If you help me, I'll sign the form. Do it. Wonderful. Here is the key. 
Oh, and be careful. Oh. Go kill some spooders then, I guess. And so I shall. Let's go this way. What shall we do? I'm more dangerous than I thought. Oh, <laughs> 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 Keep pressing the space to try and jump, but I then remember that there is no jump button. And so I shall. Now I'm supposed to go until five, but I'm struggling to keep my eyes open right now. Battle axe on it, Jesus. Well, that exploded very violently, didn't it? Press updated. And I can talk back to Thingy again. You're back. Are the spiders gone? Yes. 
a delicate infestation. Oh, wonderful. You're a lifesaver. Now, where was that form you wanted me to sign? Here it is. Right. There you go. How's that? Excellent, thank you. It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. Down somewhere. Why is it dark in here now? Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. The stockroom stores components used in. Can I have a fire rod now? Or? I wonder if I have to go to the basement. The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. <laughs> uh, but how do we get past it? The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. Ah, since you have the password, can't Joan help you enter? The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Gotcha, of course it has, of course it has, because that would be too easy. Yeah. First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fae. That's something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. the rod with you melt the locks off what's the matter why isn't it working the rod's broken Bill, something's not right i can't cast spells here nothing works these wards carved into the stone this must be the templar's work they negate any magic cast within this area i should have guessed why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. The door there, where does it lead? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? We have a choice? No. I'll take any chance I can get. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can okay. see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Onward then. 
Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I'm not giving up. We've come too far. It's just a suit of armor. Why is it exploding in blood? <laughs> I use the healing spell. Is that because I'm not in combat? And it's just one and one. Nah. Of course. Magic nice stuff. Cool. This is for. I don't really say who it's for, to be fair. I should take all anyway. I like how it's called a piercing hippie's dagger. Things will go wrong. I don't know. Hmm. That's how you do it. Okay, 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 okay. Lovely. Can you stop?
Whoops. Oh no. That's not good. Uh hit. Gonna take a while to load back in. Oh no, actually it's actually loaded pretty quickly for a change. Okay, I mean, it's not bringing it up on the capture device, but it has loaded it back up, which is kind of what I was hope, hoping for. I don't know why I didn't do it a minute ago. Um, I'm tempted to call it because I'm so fucking tired. We have got a save. So let me just save now. Alright, yeah. I was supposed to go for like another two hours, but I'm just so tired. Where I'd, I've been up since four. So I'm going to call it. But we did get a bit in. Uh, call the Cthulhu done, and we got a little bit of this done. But yeah, no, we should be fine sticking out with this game. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Um, is anyone on for me that I can raid? Actually, we can read Crimson. He's on playing Baldur's Gate with, uh, with Fry. So we'll, we'll send love over that way. Okay. Yeah, no, apologies that I'm not going to like longer like I would usually do, but I'm just, I'm too tired. I'm going to fall asleep streaming, which I don't really want to do. So I'm going to go relax and try and maybe have a nap. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to send it over to Crimson. He's playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with Fry. Um, if you haven't, there is, of course, all the links. But I appreciate anyone that's maybe popped in today or like just lurked, kept me company. But I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you... There may be a stream tomorrow. It depends what time I get home. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, take care and bye-bye.